Please understand, the day I was arrested, which is a year ago, every single bank account that I have was frozen. All of my assets were taken. I haven't had a, a dollar of money yeah, 10 since January. cars taken, I think. 15. 15 cars and, some, and how many properties? 15 cars, six properties, 20 diamond watches, gold bars, cash, land, every single bank account, millions and millions and what millions of dollars. What was the total value of everything they seized? 16, 17 million pounds. And they took all of it. And I still don't have access to any of these things. I mean, as we're doing this interview, you're... Another horrendous day for Andrew Tate, his brother Tristan, and their team of clowns. A judge in Bucharest rejected their appeal of the decision to seize millions of dollars worth of assets from the Tate brothers and their accomplices. This follows 18 months worth of speculation about if or when these assets were going to be returned since they were first seized back in January of 2023. Weeks after police came for their owner, they returned for his cars. The power of a Ferrari paralyzed in the grip of a Dowdy police truck. Insurance against any future compensation claims from victims, but also a sign that investigators here are confident. Whatever the truth about life behind these walls, its secrets are now being scrutinised by investigators. This fleet of luxury cars, the toys of a successful businessman, or the proceeds of a trafficking ring. Police raided seven more properties last week, including this villa, owned by the Tates near the Carpathian Mountains. Neighbours say it was fully renovated last year, with a swimming pool added. One neighbour... Ever since the arrest of Andrew Tate, his brother Tristan, and their two female accomplices, Georgiana Nagel and Luana Radu, back in December 2022, there has been tears shed all over the internet about why it is so unfair. From the arrest itself, the fact that they were detained for several months as a preventative measure pre-trial, and there have been tears shed over the fact that the authorities in Romania seize millions of dollars worth of assets from the Tates, which are yet to have been returned. Footage started to emerge of the Tates' beloved supercar collection being loaded up and taken away. The assets which have been seized by DCOT, as listed in the court documents, are 15 luxury vehicles. It's worth noting that the beloved Bugatti is not listed and is reportedly hiding in a garage in Dubai. They also seized 14 luxury watches, two gold bars and a gold coin, 15 properties and blocks of land, over 550,000 US dollars worth of crypto, and they also had their bank accounts seized. Andrew Tate and his people have made it very clear that this is so, so unfair and even illegal. You had your uh, assets, a lot of your assets, taken by the ruling authorities. Uh, any chance for getting those back? Well, I should get them back. What is law? What is court? What is a judge? What is fair? God is the only judge. And I truthfully have forgotten about all of them. I think it's around 15 million euros of cars, gold, watches, etc. I don't consider them mine anymore. I've forgotten about all of them. There's very little in this life you truly own besides your heart and your soul and your state of mind. I think those are the only things you can own. You can put me in jail, but I'll own my state of mind. I'll smile just the same. That's my decision. You can't take it from me. And everything else they can take from you, because unless you have enough guns to defend it, and you'll never have more guns than the state, it can be taken. You don't own houses, you don't own cars, you don't own anything else. And if you annoy the government, they're going to prove that to you. The idea that these assets being taken and not returned is in any way illegal or even a mystery is just not correct. According to Romanian law, assets can be seized pre-trial to cover the cost of the investigation, the potential compensation of victims in the civil cases, and any potential financial penalties of the defendants. This can happen if there is substantial evidence of a range of crimes, including the relevant ones in this case, trafficking and exploitation of vulnerable people, money laundering offences, for which the Tates are being investigated and we can expect charges coming soon, and establishing an organised criminal group, which both the Tate brothers, Georgiana and Luana, have been charged with. 
of course, there is a high burden of evidence needed for this to happen, but that is no problem in this case. Of the 70,000 pages of evidence against the Tate brothers and their accomplices for this case, one judge has made a comment that the evidence is significant, while another separate judge that has reviewed the case file made a comment that the evidence is abundantly present. These assets can be seized if it is determined that the crimes for which the person is convicted brought them material benefit, and there is a significant gap between the person's lawful reported income and their wealth. An issue for the Tates in court when they've been trying to get these assets returned is that they have failed to provide evidence of legitimate income to match the assets that they have collected over these years. According to Decot, they have evidence that the Tates have been exploiting women in Romania since 2016, and the assets that they have just aren't adding up with what they have reported to have earned. The idea that the Tate brothers having their toys taken away is not in line with Romanian law is just plain wrong and honestly incredibly whiny. There is one particular asset that Tristan seemed especially distraught about. You talked about uh, the goods that have been taken away from you from, uh, from the ECOT. Do you yep. think you'll ever recover them? They took 11 cars, six watches, some bars of gold, some cash, some cryptocurrency. You know, they took my father's watch. My father's dead, and he had this cheap Casio watch that cost maybe $100. That was in my safe because it's precious to me. And they were ordered to take all the watches in my safe. And they took, obviously, some very expensive ones, but they also took that one. You know, so I don't have any hopes of getting them back. I hope I'll get them back because I can sell them and, you know, get some money back because I've lost a lot of money from this. But I just want my dad's watch. That's it. This watch is very dear to Tristan, and a family friend went to great lengths to make sure it got to him. The way your dad looked at it, this watch was your birthright. You'd be damned if any slope's gonna put the greasy yellow hands on his boy's birthright, so he hid it. In one place he knew he could hide something, his ass. Five long years he wore this watch, up his ass. Then he died of dysentery, he'd give me the watch. I hid this uncomfortable hunk of metal up my ass, two years. It's worth pointing out that no watch that fits this description is on the list seized by Decot. There's no evidence of it existing, and we haven't heard Tristan bring it up in a long time. It seems very likely that he just made it up for attention. Another complication to this situation is that not all of these assets are under the Tate's names or Luana and Georgiana's. Several of the cars listed belong to the Canon Run, an exotic car rental company that supplied some of the Tate's cars. Funnily enough, Andrew was listed as a director of the Canon Run until just days before their initial arrest, when he was conveniently terminated as a director. There's also some properties and cars that are under some businesses that the Tates transferred to the mother of one of Tristan's children, Abigail. Their attempt to use the likes of the Cannon Run and Abigail to protect some of their assets have failed. Romanian law covers situations like this, where they can consider assets that are transferred to a family member or an entity which the person has control over. And Andrew's last minute and obvious attempt to get around this by being removed as a director of the Cannon Run is not gonna fly. This saga with the assets of the Tate has been ongoing with multiple appeals and has been sporadically reassessed, which is pretty standard for a case like this. But this has given Tate's online PR army of clowns plenty of chances to spread bullshit propaganda. In January, the court in Bucharest granted the Tate a new hearing over the legality of the seizure of their assets. All the assets were to remain seized unless this upcoming hearing was successful. But the Tate camp had a slightly different story. Big news. The boys got their stuff back. Andrew and Tristan had just had all their stuff that was seized, you know, completely illegally and stupidly has taken from them has now been given back. What does this tell us? Like, what we've been saying for the whole time that these guys have done nothing, it's all fabricated, it's all bullshit. Finally, the first pillar has fallen. 
you know none of this really matters until they're, they're you know they're set free but you have to remember these guys have not even gone to trial and they've spent over 90 days in prison they got all of their stuff taken from them for, for, no, for nothing for nothing for just an accusation so the fact that this has happened and they have been given their things back it just should prove to anybody who is in doubt that there is no case there is no evidence there is no problem they have done nothing so i'm very very happy for the guys it's not over and it's only the beginning and it doesn't really mean anything but i'm happy they got their stuff back i'm happy that finally justice is slowly being served and i look forward to celebrating with them but great news guys congratulations if you're confused and thinking i may have inserted the wrong clip considering the part of the timeline i was talking about I'm afraid it is not the case. This, considering the context that you now know, gives you a good idea of how the Tate PR machine works. The Tate Stooges spread all over Twitter that they had had a fantastic victory and the judge had ordered that the boys are getting their stuff back. We saw this deliberately spread from large accounts like the Fruitcake Dr. Lupus and of course, Andrew Tate's most embarrassing propaganda clown, Suleiman Ahmed. Of course, we tried our best to correct the record, but we're pretty outnumbered. But if these clowns want to humiliate themselves for the Tate brothers, I'm more than happy to rub their nose in it when they get proven to be the fools that they are. Let's fast forward six months from Sally and Co embarrassing themselves for the Tates. Three days ago, as of the recording of this video, on the 28th of June, the Tate brothers' final appeal of the Romanian authorities' seizure of their assets was heard. It was rejected. And this decision is final. The Tate brothers will not be getting their stuff back unless they win the case. And this includes their beloved house that they live in now. This is technically seized by the Romanian government, but they are allowing the Tates to live in it until the completion of the trial. If they lose, their house belongs to Romania. The most significant tears in the aftermath of this ruling came from Tristan. He said, They're keeping my assets because members of the service have already stolen them and help themselves to my hard-earned money. The assets are confirmed missing. Doesn't matter. My parents always taught me to give to the less fortunate. The prosecutor needs them more than me. He then went on to add, They won't give me my stuff back. I wonder why. What a way to wreck our country's reputation, guys. Well done. I say ours because yes, my kids are Romanians. I won't raise them to be crooks like the police authorities. Tristan can whine all he likes, but the chapter of the Tate's assets is over. And you could say this is one step closer to this entire shit show being over. But don't hold your breath. From what we understand, there is most likely a lot more to go down in this trial before these clowns are off our social media feeds for good. And I'll be here to share every part of this clown show with you. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I now have memberships turned on, so if anyone is willing and able to support as a member, while my little channel is still in its infancy, it would be greatly appreciated.